here we have 10.1, finding the maximum or minimum of a quadratic function. And so we definitely need to pay attention to the A value to determine whether or not it actually is a minimum or a maximum. So if the A value is positive, which is greater than zero, then it's a minimum because it'll be opening upward. And so the vertex is going to be the low point, the minimum. If the A is negative, less than zero, then the parabola is going to be opening downward. And so the vertex up there is a peak, which means it'll be a maximum. In this particular case, my A is a positive 2, which means mine will be opening upward, which tells me I have a minimum. Then it wants to know what that minimum or maximum value is. That is the Y value of the vertex. And then when it says, where does the minimum or va maximum value occur, that is the X value of the vertex. And so how do I find the vertex? I start with x equal to negative b over 2a. And so when I do that, I have b is a positive 12 and a is a 2, so negative 12 over 4, which is negative 3. And if I want that y value, I have to do 2 times negative 3 squared plus 12 times negative 3 plus 19 which is actually equal to 1. So then the y value of my vertex is 1, and then the x value of my vertex is negative 3. And the answer up here was minimum. Similarly, if there's a negative, because there's a negative, this one's going to be going downward. So I'm going to say this one has a maximum. So that'd be the answer to the first part. And then if I want to know the minimum or maximum value and where it occurs, I need to do the x equals negative b over 2a. Now sometimes they will switch the order of these. So make sure you're paying attention to the min or max value, which is the y, or where the minimum maximum value occurs. That would be the x value of the vertex. So pay very special attention to these wordings because they will switch them it won't always be the y value first and then the x value next, okay? They might switch it on you. So um, we do have to do x equals negative b over 2a just to start. So negative of a positive 2, because that's b, over 2 times a negative 1, because that's a. Negative 2 over negative 2, which is a positive 1. And so then my y value is negative 1 squared plus 2 times 1 plus 2 which you get three. And so then the value, the min max value, in this case max value, max value is the y value, which is three. Where the max value occurs is at x equal to one, okay? So make sure you're paying very, very special attention to that wording.